Well, take a look at this skyline behind us in here. I mean, beautiful. see the fog? This is the SFO right there this morning. But the fog's keeping it cool there in San Francisco. Yeah. Other places not going to... Yes, cool. Yeah, today. can we get the fog in the South <laughs> Bay up, right? You know, it's not happening today, but it, it's a little bit thicker than we saw yesterday, so that means it'll linger a little bit longer, and that helps to even cool our inland areas, especially if we have a westerly wind. So we are getting some low visibility as you're crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. It is just above the roadway there. And then let's go above the fog in San Francisco from our Sutro Tower camera where you can only see the top of the Salesforce Tower, and we are are also seeing the fog once again a lot deeper. It's going to stay over the city longer and provide a slight cool down for the inland valley. So yesterday we were hitting the upper 90s. 93 is expected today in Concord. So a little bit cooler. We are going to head for 94 in Morgan Hill and San Jose today reaching 86 degrees, but slightly cooler tomorrow as well as we get a stronger breeze. And that's going to be a nice start to our weekend where we'll be watching a lot going on. Now I'm also still monitoring for the chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. A lot of it is stay farther to the the north of us, but any lightning strikes could start a new wildfire, and that has been high of high concern because of the lack of rainfall with some of these thunderstorms that have been moving through. We're also watching now Hurricane Hillary over southwestern Mexico's coast. It's over some very warm water and continues to strengthen. Right now it is a category one with winds at 75 miles per hour, and it is expected to briefly become a category four hurricane off the coast of Cabo. But but as it moves over the cooler water, moving farther to the north and moving closer to the San Diego area, well, it is expected to, to weaken quite a bit as it also still has a lot of rain with it. And then as it makes its northward track, it's going to be over the Tahoe area with this current forecast that we have. Now we are expecting the potential of that track to change just a bit, and that could drastically change where we see the biggest impacts of this system. But we are looking at some widespread heavy rain to spread up Baja California into the San Diego, Southern California area into Sunday as well as Monday. And then we can see that it's going to continue to spread out as it weakens, but we on the drier side of this system could still see some spotty showers and possibly some lightning strikes, which will once again enhance our wildfire risk as we go into early next week. So we're going to be closely watching that because just a minor jog in either east or west could change what we see here in the Bay Area. And we're also in for a quiet weekend, but watching those thunderstorm chances early next week.